In today's video, I've got seven side hustles that you can do from the comfort of your home that could potentially even replace your day job. Now, this first side hustle is gonna be pretty small compared to some of the others on the list, but it's worth putting on the list because anybody can do it and it's an easy way to make money. And the first side hustle on the list is a website called Rev.com. Rev is an online marketplace for remote work consisting of transcription services, captioning, subtitles, and translation services. Clients upload audio and video files to the site, which will then be sent to freelancers for transcribing, captioning, and translating. Basically, the way it works, though, is you sign up as a freelancer on the website by going to rev.com slash freelancers. Once on the page, you'll go to this form here, fill out your information, choose what position you're interested in, and hit next. Then you'll land on this page here, which will show you how much on average you can earn with Rev. And obviously, the more often you use Rev, the more money you'll make. The trick here, though, with Rev is that you can't expect to start making several hundred dollars per day when you first get started. Even if you are a great translator or typer or whatever, Rev is designed to slowly give you access to more jobs the longer you're on the platform. And so for that reason, if you want this side hustle to actually be worth it, you have to be willing to stick with it for some time. On average though, freelancers on Rev can make anywhere from a couple of hundred dollars per day to several hundred dollars per day, depending on how long you've been on the platform and how much experience you have. Overall, it's definitely not the best side hustle on this list, but it has a very low barrier of entry, which means that anybody can start doing it and making money almost immediately. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a three out of 10 on the money scale. There are much more impressive side hustles coming up. Also guys, if you could just really quickly take one second to drop a like down below for the YT Algo, it helps the channel out so much. I would appreciate that. You guys are amazing. Thank you. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way that we work forever. And for a lot of people, this means that you're now working from home. And with that, I would imagine that many of you don't even use your cars as much anymore. Websites like Turo and Get Around will let you turn your car into a full-time passive income stream by allowing you to rent it out. To get started with Get Around, you can just go to getaround.com or you can also download the app on your phone. And if you're on a laptop or desktop computer, you would just hover your mouse over this little icon here and then click on share your car. If you're on your phone, you would tap on this little hamburger icon here and then tap on share your car. From here, you'll just go through the application process where Get Around will ask you various questions about your car. And this process will basically be the exact same for Turo. Now, it's worth mentioning here that Get Around's not gonna let you rent out a car that's older than a model year 2007. And so unfortunately, your 1998 Honda Accord that's been sitting vacant in your driveway for the past five years won't qualify. But your 2007 Honda Accord that's been sitting vacant in your driveway way for the past five years can qualify. And Turo has slightly similar requirements. Your car can't be older than 25 years and special considerations are made for cars that are older than 12 years, but less than 25 years old. And so for example, if you have a 2007 Honda Accord that's about 15 years old, that car can be listed on Turo, but there will be additional questions and verification that has to be made about the car. And you'll likely have to verify that the car is in proper mechanical and physical condition. And in terms of how much money you can make renting out your car, it all depends depends on the type of car that you have. For example, using Turo's earning calculator, we can see that if your car is worth between 10 and 30,000, you can make anywhere from a few thousand to 15,000 plus per year, depending on your car. And how much you make will also depend on how much you're willing to rent the car out. Overall though, I think it's a great side hustle that you can do to make some good passive income. And for that reason, I'm giving it a four out of 10 on the money scale. This next one is a side hustle that I've talked a lot about in past videos, and it's one that I've done for myself personally. But if I were to start over again, then I would have done it significantly different and earned way more money. Let me explain. So the actual side hustle, as you've already seen, is selling website templates on Etsy. The way that I've always explained this side hustle in the past, though, is that you would use a WordPress page builder plugin like Elementor and build Elementor templates that people buy specifically to use for the Elementor plugin. And this is exactly what I did with my website, ElementorMarket.com. But if I could start over and do it all over again from scratch, I would not have sold Elementor templates. And Instead, I would have sold a much more popular and frankly, a much more lucrative template and that is Squarespace templates. If you go to Etsy.com and you type in Elementor templates into the search bar, sure, you'll see a lot of templates pop up. Most of them are priced moderately low and based on the number of reviews, they probably aren't selling too well. However, if I instead type in Squarespace template, the results are much more exciting. Not only are all the Squarespace templates priced way higher than the Elementor templates, but they're also selling a lot better. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Joshua, I don't know how to build Squarespace templates and so I can't do this side hustle. And even if I did know how to make Squarespace templates, I wouldn't know how to sell them. And so here's exactly how you start this side hustle and how much you can potentially make from it. So the first thing that you'll obviously wanna do is sign up for a Squarespace account. And you'll do this by going to squarespace.com and then clicking on the button at the top of the website that
that says get started. You'll then land on a page full of templates, just like this, and you'll choose any of the templates, it doesn't matter, just click on any of them and click on start with, and so I'm gonna click on start with Paloma, and when I click that, it's gonna bring me to this page here, which will then prompt me to create my account. Once my account is created, it's gonna kick me back to this template page here to select a new template, and I'm just gonna click on start with Paloma again, and you'll see that it brings me to the actual website once I do that, and so I can name the site and then begin designing. Now, the point here is to not just copy the same exact template that Squarespace gives you and sell that, right? I don't even think that's legal. What you're doing is just using this template as sort of a base starting point. Instead of a completely blank page, which by the way, you can do if you want, you at least have some existing images, text, and overall layouts to work with to design your own unique template. But anyways, once your template is actually built, how do you go about selling it on Etsy? Well, what you'll notice on other Etsy shops who are also selling Squarespace templates is that they all have this option here that says please include the email address you'd like to receive the template and that's because to actually sell templates on Squarespace you would have to first go to your custom template click on settings and then click on permissions and then invite contributor and when someone buys your Squarespace template on Etsy they would include their email and you would enter their email into this field here that says email and of course make sure to turn on the administrator button to give them full access to their new website and then on the buyers end they would receive an email from Squarespace that looks like this and when the buyer hits the accept invitation button from the email, that buyer who just bought the template from you on Etsy will then show up here on this list. At which point you can click on this button that says transfer ownership to transfer the entire Squarespace site to them. It's that easy. Now it's worth mentioning that every single time you sell a Squarespace template on Etsy, you'll want to be sure that you duplicate your custom template before you transfer the ownership. For example, imagine this is your original custom template. If you just clicked on settings here and then went to the permissions and then transferred the ownership you would be transferring your original template, which means once the buyer confirms the transfer, you'll lose access to it. And obviously that's bad, right? Because the point is that you just make the template once and then you can sell it an infinite amount of times without actually having to go back and recreate the template every single time it sells. And so to prevent this, every time one of your templates sold on Etsy, you would click on these three dots here and then click on duplicate website. And then you would go into the duplicated website and then go through the process of transferring the ownership. And so now when the ownership is transferred, you'll still have access to your original template that you can just continue duplicating over and over again every time it sells. Does all that make sense though? I know this can be pretty overwhelming and so if you guys are interested in me making a full step-by-step -step guide on how exactly to do this, then let me know. Drop a comment down below saying, yes, Joshua, I would love a full step-by-step -step guide on how to sell Squarespace templates on Etsy and then maybe leave like a little heart emoji or something so that I know you mean it. If you guys are interested, I would be posting that step-by-step -step guide completely free on my website Mayo University. And so if you want access to that tutorial once my site goes live, go to mayouniversity.com and enter your email. And I promise you that that tutorial is going to be 100% free. I'm not going to try to sell you anything. Now, in terms of how much money you can make selling Squarespace templates on Etsy, I know you're not going to like this answer, but it's the truth and really the sky's the limit with how much you can earn. If you take this serious, then there is no reason that you can't make 100,000 plus per year with much of that being passive income. Because remember, you're only making the template once and then you're selling it an infinite amount of times. But you have to be willing to learn and take it serious. And if you can do this, then I'm gonna be square with you and tell you that this side hustle can truly transform your life. And for that reason, I'm gonna give this side hustle a six out of 10 on the money scale. And if this one, as good as it is, is only a six out of 10, then wait until you see the top three on the list. I'm not joking when I tell you that this next side hustle can earn you a lot of money. I mean, we're talking several hundred dollars in less than just a couple of hours per day. So the side hustle, as you've already seen, is real estate photography. And before you skip ahead and say, you know what, I can't do this. I don't have any experience with photography. Just hear me out. Real estate photography is exactly what it sounds like. Taking pictures of real estate, typically for real estate agents, house flippers, and potentially even landlords. And the point of real estate photography is to make real estate look as interesting as possible. And so everything from your camera angles, the lenses that you use, the lighting, will affect how a potential home buyer sees the home. And so the goal is to show the interior and exterior of a home home in the best possible way. And although this will take a little bit of practice, anybody can learn it from just watching YouTube videos. And the best part is because phones have such great cameras nowadays, you can even start doing this with just your phone and potentially some type of cheap phone stabilizer just to help your shots look more fluid.
fluid and professional. Now, I know a big question here is gonna be, well, how exactly do I even get started with this? And the first step is, if you don't have any experience, you're gonna wanna get some experience. For starters, there are a ton of free videos on YouTube going over everything you would need to know about real estate photography. And even just spending some time watching these types of videos will give you a ton of knowledge and understanding. And then you just practice. You either shoot real estate photography using your own home or a friend or relative's home and just spend like a week or two just really practicing your craft. And maybe go and shoot three to five different homes and include those shoots in your portfolio. Because then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start sending your portfolio to different real estate agents. And you can easily find real estate agents on different Facebook groups or just by simply cold calling or cold emailing their office. Most real estate agents are desperately in need of good, reliable, and consistent real estate photographers that they can use for every single one of their homes. And once you make a good first impression with one or two different clients, they'll start referring you to other real estate agents and your business will continue to expand massively. Now, how much money you can make doing this is gonna depend on if you're doing commercial real estate photography or residential. With residential real estate photography, you can make on average between $150 and $300 per hour, which means just one session lasting a couple of hours could earn you between $300 and $800. Commercial real estate photography will require a little bit more skill, but it will also pay you significantly more money. On average, commercial real estate photographers can earn between four to $500 per hour. This means that one session can earn you between $800 and $2,000. And this is just one property for a couple of hours on one day. Imagine for a second how much money you would make if you were doing multiple properties in one day. There's no question about it. Real estate photography is a real side hustle that can pay really good money. And for that reason, I'm giving it a seven out of 10 on the money scale. There's a reason that Jeff Bezos started amazon.com and only sold books at the beginning. Used books are dirt cheap. You can buy used books at thrift stores and garage sales for literally pennies on the dollar. And so they're super cheap. You can buy them in bulk. They're easy to ship because it's just a little square block and books are timeless. And Jeff Bezos knew all of this, which is why he started building his empire with books. Now, of course, he eventually expanded, but that doesn't mean that this business model is dead. It's still very alive and well, and there are people making as much as $17,000 or more every month just from selling used books online. And getting started is super simple. Here's exactly how it works. The first key is to not just guess. You're not just going out to thrift stores and to garage sales and buying hundreds of different random books, hoping that some of them will be valuable. No, the first thing you'll wanna do is sign up for a free Amazon Seller Central account. And then from your phone, download the actual Amazon Seller Central app. And once your account is approved, it's time for business. You're gonna go out to thrift stores like Goodwill or anything local that you have, you know, garage sales, Facebook Marketplace, anywhere that people sell used things. Go there and start scanning every single book that you see with your Amazon Seller app. Every single book, unless the binding has been ripped off, the cover's been ripped off, or the jacket has been taken off, right? Because if I take the jacket off the book, then it's just a blank book, right? There's nothing on it, okay? So unless the binding or the cover's been ripped off or the jacket's been taken off, every book will have a barcode that when you scan it using your Amazon seller app is gonna show you exactly how much that book is selling for on Amazon. And so you're at Goodwill or a local garage sale or whatever, and they're literally selling books for pennies on the dollar. And so you scan a book and that book is selling for $50 on Amazon. And yet you can buy that book for 50 cents at Goodwill. Or perhaps you just go to Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and people are giving away boxes of books for free because that does happen. And you just repeat this process over and over again. And if you're selling hundreds of books per month, then I'll just kind of let you imagine how much profit you can make. For many people, doing this side hustle can earn you an additional three to $10,000 per month. And if you really grinded and you even did this full time, perhaps you quit your job and you just did this full time, there's no reason that you can't earn between 15 and $20,000 per month or more, depending on how well you scale the side hustle. Listen, I get it, books can be pretty boring, but that's exactly why this side hustle is such a hidden gem. And even if everyone watching this went out and started doing this side hustle, there's so many books in the world and there's such a high demand for books that you could still easily earn five figures or more per month doing it. And for that reason, I'm giving this an eight out of 10 on the money scale. Now, chances are you've probably heard of this last side hustle and that's because it is a very popular side hustle that a lot of people start and end up going full time with. And that side hustle is drop shipping. Drop shipping is a type of online retail business where a seller sets up a website and sells products that the seller doesn't actually keep in stock. This side hustle requires virtually zero upfront capital 
capital because you don't have to spend any money on products unless you've made a sale first and a customer has already paid you. It's also very easy to start and has extremely low overhead because you can start doing it by yourself from your bedroom using your phone or computer. Let me give you an example of what drop shipping looks like, okay? So just recently I was looking for a new lamp to include in the background of my videos and I stumbled on this lamp here from this website. The original price is $1,230 but it's supposedly on sale for $615. What a bargain, right? However, after doing some research, I discovered that this exact same light was being sold on the Chinese wholesaling website Alibaba.com. Not for $1,230 or not even for the sale price of $615. No, this lamp was being sold for $175, which is how much money I ended up paying for my new lamp, which you can see is the exact same lamp from that dropshipping website. And so the 16 people who bought this lamp for $615 paid $440 more extra for this product, assuming that they bought it on sale. If they bought it for the full price of $1,230, then they paid $1,055 extra for this same exact lamp that I paid $163 for. And this lamp right here is is a perfect example of drop shipping. You see, I can almost guarantee you that every single product being sold on this website can be bought directly from Alibaba at a fraction of the price. But because they set up their website to look professional and they're able to market the items in such a way to make them look more luxurious and more valuable than what they actually are, they're able to sell items at extremely marked up prices. And the best part is that there's virtually zero risk because this website isn't holding on to any inventory. I mean, they probably don't even have an official office space. It's likely just one person in their bedroom running this entire website from their computer. And when someone orders this Alfred tripod floor lamp for $615, the person in charge of this website goes to Alibaba.com or a website like AliExpress, buys the lamp for a mere $163 and has that lamp shipped directly to the customer. And they never once through the entire process even touched the inventory. This right here is an extremely scalable side hustle that can easily turn into a multi-million dollar business. And if I had to guess, there are probably tens of thousands of people doing this side hustle successfully and so why can't you i'm going to leave a link down below to this shopify guide that will walk you through step by step how exactly to start drop shipping if this is something that sounds interesting to you it's worth first learning more about it to see if you'll actually want to do it in terms of how much money you can make doing this side hustle again it really depends if you're only doing it part-time for just a couple of hours per week then it's not unusual to make between one thousand and five thousand dollars per month doing it but if you stick with it long term and you actually work on scaling it then there is no reason that you can't turn turn this side hustle into a six figure or even seven figure per year business. And because this side hustle is so easy to start and quite literally anybody can do it and scale it into a seven figure business, I'm gonna give this a solid 10 out of 10 on the money scale. If you have not already gotten your 12 free stocks from Webull valued up to $36,000, when you open an account and deposit just one penny, make sure you do that by using the link down below in the description. And if you finish watching this video and you want even more side hustle ideas, then watch this video next. Hey, you guys are amazing, truly, and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day or night. And as always, I will see you again very soon. Take care.